Hello YouTube. So, some of you may remember my uh, little 1.5 amp Milwaukee battery with this little lead on it. We made a 15.6 amp Milwaukee battery. Um, but since then, we've been using this little 6 amp 18 volt piggyback uh, to jumpstart cars. Basically, I connect the uh, 18 volts to a car and leave it sit there on the car battery for two or three minutes while while I'm watching the little cell monitor. And uh, once it uh, puts a bit into the battery, give it a quick hit with the key and away it'll go, even with tiny jumper leads. The problem is, it's been uh, continually getting out of sync. So I thought, all right, we'll put it on the charger and see what happens. We get 3.7, 3.84, 4.22, 4.23, yeah, there is no number 6. So as you can see it's currently out of balance. So, I'm going to disconnect it from its Milwaukee battery, let that charge itself back up, and uh, we need to make a solution. Here's the solution. So to add a bit of info, when I say to fix this situation, the reason I say that is because I currently don't have a balance charger. There's a big sad gap here. Oh, that's normally where my uh, lab power supply was. And uh, both my IMAX B6 clone copy, fake, uh, LiPo chargers are dead. Can't complain, got them off the boss he got out of RC stuff, but uh, yeah, sadly they're no good anymore, they're dead. What I'm basically doing is waiting until I can afford an eye charger or a big like 40 amp. Um, 40 amp lipo. So in the meantime, we're going to make a little, uh, little board that we can recreate a bit of balance with. So basically what I need to do is be able to top up a cell to 4.1, 4.2, whatever, um, to try and balance them out. So the back three cells are quite happy, so we're up to 20 volts already. We're down to 15 at one stage. So 3.7, 3.77, 4.14, 4.22, 4.23, 4.23, 4.24, 4.25, 4.26, 4.27, 4.28, 4.29, 4.30, 4.31, 4.32, 4.33, 4.34, 4.35, 4.36, 4.37
like so. Let's unplug that because it's way overkill for the job. 80 water gets so hot so fast. Go for wood. Soldering up uh, cells there. Right oh, no. So what we need next is to uh, let that cool a little bit as we get that up off the uh, nice steel surface that it's sitting on. Okay. So the way the cell logger works is when you go, when you talk balance leads, you talk from the negative forwards. So from negative to the first cell is 1S. You got another negative, second positive, 2S. Another negative, third positive, 3S. Fourth positive, 4S. Fifth positive, 5S. Simple principle. So we've now got red and green wires hanging out of our little TP. We'll connect the green to the negative. Go ahead and connect the red to the positive. Firmly. Oh, that red lead's a bit shit. Anyway, we then go ahead and connect our USB power source. It's saying blue because it's saying it's charged because the red's disconnected. And now it's saying red because it's charging. So number one should boost itself up now. We'll do number one first, we'll change it to number two. And uh, get them to bump themselves up. That's a quick solution when you don't currently have a uh, lipo charger to uh, recreate a bit of balance. This will also come in handy for make sure um, cell packs are topped off. I believe that big bugger up there is probably out of balance by now. I'll have to put one of the cell loggers on. I've got a couple of them. Put the uh, little TP on one of those while it's cycling up and down. And uh, we'll be able to get it back into balance cheap, like these boards are a dollar each or whatever, alligator clips, probably call them a dollar dollar, USB cable two or three dollars, and a uh, USB power source probably got one laying around, you're probably watching this video on a phone that's plugged into one that simple, thanks heaps for watching guys, if you like the video give it a thumbs up, please consider subscribing if you uh, like the video, you know all the hoo-ha if you've got any questions definitely drop them below. I answer every one of them and uh, hope it helps. Thanks for watching guys.